Hello there, and this is Richard Digens welcoming you to the yellowcafe.co.uk. The Yellow Cafe invited me to give you a daily collection of my thoughts relating to mindfulness. Mindfulness is an important part of our lives, keeps us sane, let's be honest. And leading up to Christmas, I decided to call this collection In the Advent Of. Come with me to a quaint English village. Beautiful. There's a pub, and there may be people outside the pub just chatting, enjoying themselves, laughing, Maybe they're recalling what a dreadful year 2020 was. We move across a duck pond. Duck ponds are quite cute, aren't they? They seem to be sort of slightly bigger than puddles and far, far lesser than a lake. There they are, stuck in the middle. They're always a strange colour as well. They seem to be more green than a lake. But anyway, we're at a duck pond. Normally, I presume, we'd just drive by. But not this time. We've stopped. We're looking around the village. Country lanes. Days of yesteryear almost unaffected by time. Many unaffected by 2020. It's incredible. I'm looking at Mother Duck. <laughs> it's made me smile because the ducklings always follow in a line, don't they, behind. And Mother Duck don't care about us. Hang on, I'm crossing the road and I'm bringing my young ones with me. And that's exactly what she does and you have to put your brakes on. Nothing's more important to Mother Duck than Mother Duck and her little ones, of course. They take their time. They're chilling out just like we are right now. But one thing made me smile. Ducks. Ducklings. Have you noticed? They walk along a bit like a train. You've got Mother Duck being the engine, if you like. And waddling along behind her are half a dozen carriages. Yeah. Like a... Well, I'm going to say a steam train, but no, they're still like that today, aren't they? But it made me think, maybe that's why they called that incredibly famous steam train the Mallard. Because, yes, the Mallard is a duck, and yes, the Mallard is a famous steam train, and yes, ducks sort of pull carriages, they're ducklings, and the mallard pulled carriages. I wonder if some smart person had a very similar mind thought to myself. It's interesting, isn't it? The mallard. In days of old, when nights were cold, in the golden age of steam, to travel on the mallard was everybody's dream. So slender its blue livery, the fastest of the fast. Huh, not like Mother Duck, I hasten to add. They stood at level crossing gates and waved as she sped past. Technology took over. In a way, we all know how and the mallard sadly disappeared 
in the years from then to now. But there's a mallard on that village pond, not over-blessed with power. It certainly doesn't travel at a hundred miles an hour. It has no intention. No, no, no. I'm perfectly happy taking my time and all you human beings in fast cars can just wait your turn. And what of all the rolling stock? What of that that it poured when it was great? There's one mallard on our pond that couldn't even put a mate. It makes me sit and wonder if this waddling creation is related to that big train that raced its way to King's Cross Station. They speak fondly of the mallard. Ah, oh, well, it's history now, they say. But it isn't. There's one on the village pond. And you and I have seen it today. How interesting is that? Technology can come and technology can go. And yet the little things that help to name these things such as steam trains. I don't know other things. These little creatures, they just live on, don't they? They're not trendy. They're not bettered. They don't delete. They don't diminish. They're just there. And that's what we're doing today. Take, taking stock ourselves, I suppose. Looking at a little family of ducks. Looking at a slightly larger family of people outside the local village pub. Looking at the houses, many are creaking and leaning over, just like people do when they get older. And it's sort of assuring, encouraging that time rolls on, but for some of us, for some things, it doesn't do much damage. We know what's done damage in 2020. Oh, yes, we certainly do. But just look around the pond. A little bit of quaint old England. A nation along with Ireland, Scotland and Wales that took on a big battle. And do you know what? I think those four nations are strong enough to win the day. It has been a horrible time, there's no question about that, but as we sit here now, just look around you. This is what life's all about. It's not all about worry and fear. This is mindfulness. It's a chance for the brain to recapture the importance of life. And there it is, all in front of our eyes. Laughter, nature, age process. It's wonderful. And it makes a nonsense of what we put up with this year. But hey, it'll be here next year. And the year after, mindfulness, it's good to think, isn't it? And together, we're going to enjoy the next few weeks. Also, equally happy to be part of it. And the video was produced by Charlie Murray. The music was uh, played by me, Richard Digence, in my studio in Salisbury. Always visit Yellow Cafe, there's always stuff going on there. It's fun, 
is uh, frivolity, lots of art, beautiful, beautiful art. So don't forget, pop in as and when you feel like it, theyellowcafe.co.uk. I will see you tomorrow. Keep safe and well and have nice thoughts. Bye-bye.